Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Trending Reviews. So today I've picked up the Honor Play. It's the latest phone by Huawei. It's a follow-up from the Honor 10. I'm going to give you a quick unboxing and a general review of the specifications, the camera and so on. So let's get straight into it. Okay, just before I start, I'd like to mention that Honor Play sent me this protective lightweight case for the phone, which I think is really good. It comes Honor branded, it's in navy blue. The phone itself is in navy blue as well, so I'm gonna be putting that on afterwards. So let's go ahead with the unboxing. So let's take that out. So we have here the phone. Nice navy blue color there. Dual camera and a fingerprint sensor on the back. So just put that to the side. Got some uh, Honor Play stickers, just leave that there. Right, now they also provide a clear case. You got the user guide, warranty information, just put that on the side. I like the fact that Huawei actually do this with most of their phones. They provide a clear case and a protective screen cover as well. So if you want to use the silicone clear case, you can. Otherwise, you can use more of the hard case instead, if that's what you prefer. So we have that. Inside, you've got the SIM card tray opener in there. And then you have the plug, the charging cable, USB Type-C, and you have some headphones as well. These resemble a tiny bit like the Apple AirPods. I think they might be really comfortable as well, so I'm definitely gonna give these a shot with other phones as well. So let's go ahead and have a look at the phone itself. Right, just taking a look at the phone, it's in navy blue, I've got the 64 gigabyte model. It's a 6.3 inch screen, it comes with 83% screen to body ratio, which I think is pretty good. It does have a notch, not as big as a notch as let's say the iPhones or some of the other phones, but then again you can turn that off if that's what you prefer. So I'm going to turn off the notch because that's my preference and I will just be showing you the phone with that off. There we go. Now the screen density is 409 ppi, which is slightly less than the Honor 10's 432 ppi. It comes with 8.1 Oreo and it has a silicon Kirin 970 GPU processor. And the phone also comes with a micro SD card slot so you can expand the storage up to 256 gigabytes. So at the bottom you have your stereo speakers, the USB Type-C charging port and you do have the headphone jack as well. On the back you have the fingerprint scanner right there in the middle, you've got your dual camera set up here. Now in terms of the main cameras, you have the primary one which is the 16 megapixel f2.2 camera and the secondary one which is the 2 megapixel with f2.4 which is used as the depth sensor. The front camera is also 16 megapixels but it's f2.0. The back camera can record 1080p and 2160p at 30 frames per second. The front camera can record video at 1080p at 30 frames per second only. Now it does come with a 3750 mAh battery life which is pretty good in terms of the market today. I think my Samsung S9 is roughly around that same size. So they've got some really good competition in terms of the battery life. I think that's really good from uh, the Honor Play. It's a slightly better battery life than the previous phone, the Honor 10, so that's a real plus point there. The phone itself comes in five different colors. This one is the navy blue, but you can also get this in midnight black, in violet, in the player edition red and the player edition blacks and not all countries will be selling those colors so you do have to check your local phone shop for the listings ultimately the main thing that stands out from this phone is the price point now a lot of the phones out there are going for the budget option targeting the mass market for flagship phones for the cheapest costs now this is 279 pounds if you compare that to something like the iphone 10 which is almost a thousand pounds it's such a massive difference. Now, as the name suggests, the Honor Play is made for playing games. It comes with a GPU turbo mode, which actually speeds up your phone for high-end gaming to make sure there's no lag, there's no problems, and it continues to play faster by removing some of the background apps, which I think is really good. But overall, if you are on a budget and you're looking for one of the top-end phones, then definitely check this phone out. I'll leave all the links in the description below. All right guys, so thanks for watching. That was just a really quick overview of the phone. I think in my own opinion, it's one of the best phones out there for less than 300 pounds. If you really are on a budget, then I would definitely recommend checking out Huawei. They do really good phones. Check out the Honor Play. It's, if you're into gaming, it's like the perfect phone. If you have any questions, then please do let me know. I will be doing a comparison with the camera 
and various other features of this phone compared to the previous one that came out by Huawei which was the Honor 10 then make sure you subscribe I've got that video coming out very soon other than that if you have any questions let me know please do check out my Instagram at trending reviews I'll be taking some more photos with the Honor Play and putting them up there other than that I'll see you next time take care guys